you ever wonder how homemade craft beer is made? If you did, this is the video for you. In this video, I'm going to go through all the steps from a bag of greens to a glass of beer. It's going to take a little over a month and I'm going to be using the Robo Brew version 3. It's a new system I have for brewing. I've done one brew on it so far. This is only my second brew. Again, this is just the way I make my beer. There's many ways to do it. Follow along, it should be good. I'll just show you all the equipment I use for my brew day. So I have my laptop set up with my recipe. It gives me all the steps and I can do uh, timers built into it. It's great. The refractometer for taking gravity readings. A little digital thermometer. The yeast pack. Cephal US 05, four hop additions, all Amarillo, half ounce each, and 10 pounds of two row Canadian malt. So, this is the Robo Brew itself. It's a 35 liter mash ton, boil kettle, all in one system. It's pretty cool. I have the temperature set to 159. Right now it's 123. When it gets to 159, I can dough in. Get my sparge water pot, heat on the stove. I changed my sparge water pot to a smaller pot. I only need 8.9 liters for this sparge water. With the Robo Brew, I have a larger strike water. I believe it's uh, 17 or 18 liters. Go in. I put foil around it, like uh, Gash Slug does. I'll leave a link to his channel. He has great uh, content. So it's a very soupy mash yet. It's Ten pounds of two row Canadian malt. Now remove this little plug, keeps the grain from getting down in your overflow pipe. I'll put the top screen in, helps if you wet the silicone seal a bit. Put your overflow. I'll start my pump. Open the valve. It'll just recirculate. I'll get a temperature reading now. So we've got the pump on recirculating. And I got about five minutes left in the mash. My strike water ready at 170 degrees Fahrenheit. I gotta change that over to Celsius for my recipe. And I'm enjoying my last last batch of air. The handle's in, now what I do is simply lift it up. Turn it to a feet rest. So we'll sparge. I'll take my water from the mesh and slowly pour it over and drain through, extract more sugars. We're just about to a boil now. When we get to the boil, I'll add a few drops of firm cap, foam control. Up in my hop spider. Start my timer. I'll add my hops, half ounce of amarillo. Look at that goodness. So I had a couple of more hop additions. 
I had my original one at 60 minutes. I had another one 15 minutes left in the boil, 10 minutes left in the boil. Then I put my wort chiller in. It's connected up to the tap. Another half addition at the same time, and another one at five minutes. I've got about three minutes left. I'll turn off the heat. I'll cool it down. Then I'll sanitize my fermenter. Put it in the fermenter. So I just turned off the power to the burners. I'm done. Now I'll turn on my cold water. It'll run up through this hose, around the water chiller, and back out here. Sanitizing the fermenter with the Mark's keg washer. So I got the Robo Brew up on the counter. I put a silicone hose on and the fermenter is just below. Next time I'll just use the pump on the robot brew to transfer the wort into the fermenter. So I've got the beer in the fermenter. I'll put a blow off tube on it and a water res reservoir and let that sit for about three weeks. Then I'll carve it up for a week and it should be ready. Christmas Eve. Once fermentation is complete, I'll move my fermenter into my back porch. It's unheated, nice and cool in the winter. Perfect place to cold crash my beer. I'll take a gravity sample. I'll drain my beer into my keg. Take a reading. So I always try, once she's fermented out, before I carve it, got my specific gravity reading. The Amarillo hops are coming through really good. Once that clears and gets carved, one more week and I have the taste test. I've got my keg filled and put in the keg grater. It's all connected up. It's Amarillo, December 18th. So this will be ready. Christmas Eve. I also have another one. It's an Amarillo Hops Pilsner. That will be ready Christmas Eve. So it's December 24th, Christmas Eve. Time to try out the Smasherillo. It's been a little over a month now. We'll see how it works. Very clear. Looks like it's carbonated well. Nice. You can smell the Amarillo hops. Cheers. That's awesome. Hope you enjoyed following along with how I make my beer. Again, there are many ways to make it. This is the system I'm using now, Robo Brew version 3. It's only my second brew, but I'm very pleased. 
Beer came out really nice and clear. Awesome taste. I'll be brewing this one again for sure. If you're here, I'd certainly share one with you. Thanks for watching. Take care.